It's situations and surroundings like this that often remind me why I am on this journey towards living a more sustainable life towards being more self-sufficient and knowing what I'm putting into my body and what I'm putting into the bodies of those people around me. But that is not all. I have a clear path, a clear journey that I have mapped out for myself, which all comes down to why are you watching this video? Why are you on the journey you're on? And what are the, some of the goals that we have that we need to create along the way to make us achieve our why. That is what video one in this 10 part series is all about. Your why and some of the goals that you need to be considering to make your why a reality and also so that you can become the best person you can be within what you want to achieve in your life. So in this video we're going to talk about your why and some of the goals. So get some coffee, some tea, whatever it is that you enjoy. Sit back and let's get into some of the details which is going to set you up for future success. So you have made the decision to grow your own vegetable garden for the first time or take your vegetable garden to the next level. You have possibly decided to live a more sustainable life or to adopt more sustainable ways of living. You may also have made a decision to live more self-sufficiently, to become self-sufficient in something, or you might just want to make a difference to someone's life. All of those things that I've just spoken about require one thing, and that is why? Why are you doing it? What is your reason why? I have my reasons and you need to have your reasons. And why this is so important is we live in a world that is inundated with social influence. Social media, social media influences, their job is to influence you to make certain decisions. We are living in a world with social expectation that you need to live up to a certain expectation, vision, whatever it might be. And that is the crux of the story is your why. Your why is the most important why, not someone else's. And I want you to take from this video the most important thing that you are doing this because you want to, not because someone is influencing you to. And what do I mean by your why? Take the beautiful Instagram filters away. Take the highly successful gardeners that only show success and show cabbages and broccolis the size of them. Take that away. There is a lot of failure involved. There's a lot of struggle. There's a lot of learning. And if your why isn't your why, it's someone else's, you're going to struggle. You're going to get disheartened and an opportunity to learn, you're going to possibly see as an opportunity to give up or something that is getting you down. So what do you need to look at when it comes to your why? Essentially, what is going to make you happy at the end? What is your end goal? At least at this point in time, your why will evolve. That is another important thing that you need to remember. Your why now is not going to be your why in five or 10 years time. It might be. However, it's more realistic to have a why are you starting this journey as opposed to why do you want to be on a farm or a homestead in 10 years time? That's what we need to be looking at. And what I would suggest you do is get a journal, get a piece of paper, get a pen, whatever it is that you might do to take notes and write down the date and your why and put it somewhere safe because that is going to be your lighthouse moving forward. In six months time when the seasons change and you've got your timing completely wrong for the next veggie growing season, look back at your why, be inspired as to why you did this. You can also, in 10 years time, look back at the day that you made a decision to go on this journey and you can be reminded of why you're doing it. So take a piece of pen and paper, write it down and put it somewhere safe. That is going to keep you motivated and keep your why safe from external influence. That is just going to come from absolutely every direction. Now we know why you are on this journey and why you want to make a difference or at least change the way you're doing something. But how on earth are you going to be able to achieve your why? Well, that's where the whole concept of goals come into place. 
how are you going to put those building blocks in place, those little pebbles that you need to step on and be able to get across in order to achieve your why. The way that I achieve goals is I just take the principle of business goals uh, and smart objectives. And the whole principle there is to set goals that are specific, measurable, achievable, realistic, and timeous. Timeous. Timeously. Time. Timeous. Such a terrible word. But in any in, in case, within a realistic time frame. So if we look at you wanting to start a vegetable garden for the first time, what are some of the specific things that you want to achieve? Do you want to grow herbs? Do you want to be able to make your own salads? Do you want to grow fruit? Do you want to compost? Like, What is the specific thing that you want to be able to achieve? Then you need to look at, is it achievable? Is it realistic? So do you want to go completely off the salad grid? Great, but can you grow lettuce, radishes, tomatoes? You can't grow feta. So it's things like that you need to look at. What is achievable? What is not? Be kind to yourself. Don't be overly aggressive and be realistic. Then you also need to be realistic about what's achievable. Do you have one garden bed? Do you have none? Do you have chickens to be able to give eggs? Do you live in an urban area where there are restrictions on keeping farm related animals or not? So you first of all need to take into account whether what you can potentially achieve is realistic. And then obviously it's within a specific time frame. So do you want to plant fruit, a fruit tree? Then your expectation needs to be that you're not going to get fruit for anything up to three years and then you'll get a lot. So be mindful of the time that it takes to get what you want out of your journey so that it's not an instant gratification thing of popping a seed in the ground and next week you'll have an abundance of food. Be realistic about time, be realistic about everything, but most of all, sit and work through what is your specific goal or goals? Are they achievable? Are they realistic? And are they within a realistic time frame? I hope you learned something new from this video. I hope you were inspired. And I hope that you are able to now take a step into living a, a more fulfilling, sustainable and purpose-driven life that specifically asks and answers the questions of what is your why and how are you going to achieve it? So if you like this video, please show me some love and hit that like button. Please share it out with your friends and please do subscribe and get your friends to subscribe as well. This 10 part series is going to be pretty awesome. And then if you want to and you're feeling generous, please have a look below. There's a link to buy me a coffee where you can support all the work that I do. There's also a little thanks button down below, which will really go a long way in in helping me create more of this awesome content for you. So if you haven't yet subscribed to the 10 part series, do that now because it is going to change the way you view and you see absolutely everything. Thanks for watching. Until next time, stay safe.